hey guys you're welcome back to, i want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and if you're new here you're very much welcome to alvila Couture youtube channel today's video is on how to cut and sew a dawn gray jumpsuit this video is a continuation of the previous video i made on how to draft a dawn gray jumpsuit so if you haven't seen that video i'll be putting the link in the description box below so right now here are, here is my pattern the front and the back leg are on this pattern paper so now i'll be placing that flap dongri flap on folded end of the fabric then i'll be leaving half inch all around the pattern paper so i will cut out two pieces of that so here I'm cutting out the second piece for that dongri flap. Next thing now is to cut the front band. So I will trace out the lines on the fabric with the tailor's chalk. Then on that down part, I'll be adding half inch seam allowance or sewing allowance. Then over there, I'll be adding one inch sewing allowance. Then up there, I'll be adding half inch sewing allowance as well so here i'm taking my allowance of one inch then i will be cutting out two pieces of that front band so guys in this video this video took me two months to shoot and to compile the reason being that i've been so busy but now I'm back again. I'm back here for you. So right now I'm cutting out the back band. On that line is the zipper line. So I'll be leaving one inch on that side. I'll be leaving half inch up there and half inch down there. Then on the zipper line I'll be leaving one and a half inches. So right now I'm tracing out the zipper line. So on that zipper line, I'll be leaving one and a half inches. So I'll, I'm cutting it out now and I'll be cutting out four pieces of that back band. So now I'm going ahead to cut the pocket. So I'm just tracing my pocket opening on the fabric round there onto the waist. So I'll be leaving one inch on that side, half inch down, half inch on that side and half inch up there. I'll be cutting out two pieces of that pocket for the both sides. So like I was saying, I'm back now for you. Promise to be updating weekly. So please stay with me on this channel for more videos. So I'm cutting out the pockets now. So the next thing now will be cutting the pocket opening. So I'll follow that line to the pocket opening there, then onto the waist. So now I've already cut out my back leg. So I'm just going to be explaining that to you as well. So I just gave one inch on the side there. So now I'll be following that straight line. Then I followed that zipper line onto the crotch, to the back crotch and to the full length of the trouser. So on both sides, I left one inch seam allowance. That's one inch and one inch on this side as well. So I follow, that's my zipper line. I trace it out on the fabric. So you just flip over the pattern paper and trace out the zipper line then to the crotch. And trace it out also on the other side of the fabric. So here is the front piece. What I did on the front piece, I added half inch seam allowance. So on the front piece, I followed my pocket opening. There. Then I trace out the trouser to the full length. Then I now followed that straight line. I followed that straight line onto my front crotch. 
then that line is my front line down to the full length of the trouser so I trace it there I added half inch on both sides of the fabric I'll be sewing this trouser on half of an inch on both sides so now the sewing tip after you're done with cutting so now this is the front leg I'll place both of them together like so then I'll be sewing it on half of an inch from the waist to the crotch depth there so I'm done with sewing it so this is what I have the next thing now is to attach the pocket so right now this is the pocket opening so you're pinning it right side with right side of the fabric facing each other so I finished joining it on half inch I'll flip it inward then I'll now attach the pocket facing to it right side facing right side so I'll use my pin to secure it all around then I'll be sewing this pocket facing and the pocket opening on half of an inch so I'm pinning it down now just to secure it I'll take it to the sewing machine and I'll be sewing I'll be sewing from that round to the like an L shape so now I've joined the pocket facing so this is what I have this is the right side so that's the pocket over there so what I've done on that side I'll be doing on this other side as well so I'm true with joining the both pockets now it's time to fix the band for the front so I went ahead to cut out the band with an interfacing so I'll be pinning the front trouser onto the band and I'll be sewing it on half of an inch so what I'm doing now is just fold it into two and notch the midpoint of the band then you'll be placing it on the midpoint of the trouser as well so I use my affix pin to pin them together so right now I'm um, in between the band is the pocket so when you're pinning just make sure you're pinning along pinning it make sure you're pinning it along with the pocket and the front leg of the trouser so I'm pinning both the band the front leg the pocket and the band facing pinning them together so once I'm done with that spinning I will just take it to my sewing machine then I'll be sewing it up on half of an inch so it can be very tricky there so you have to take your time to pin it very well so it doesn't slip out so you just make sure everything is in line so you'll be sewing it down on half of an inch so I'm done with sewing so this is what the inside looks like so now the next thing now is to cut an interfacing and you iron it onto the dungri flap so here is the upside so I'll be close I'll be sewing that upside I'll sew here and that other side I will leave that damn part open then I I'll be sewing that on half of an inch so I'm just trimming off the excess 
then I'll be turning it out to the right side so you give that a good press so now here is my dungri cover I'll fold that band again to notch the midpoint and I'll also fold that dungri flap as well to notch the midpoint also so now I'll be pinning them together making sure that both notches are lines so I've already folded in half inch on that band to make it easier for me to sew right now I'm pinning them together so guys when you're making this jumpsuit and you're using a stretchy fabric you have to walk along with your pins you have to pin so now I finished pinning I'll be sewing it up now by quarter of an inch so here is the back leg of the trouser the first thing now I'll be doing is to close up that zipper area so the first thing now is to close up that crotch to the end of that crotch on half inch once I'm done with that I'll be attaching now the band for the back leg so in between that band is the back one side of the back trouser so I'll just pin them together as well and sew it on half of an inch I'll do same thing on the other side so I'm done with sewing the band so that is the inside so here is the right side as well so I'll be folding it in now like so then I'll be sewing it up on quarter of an inch. I'll do same thing on that side as well. Just fold it in by half inch and you sew it up on quarter of an inch as well. So the next thing now I'll be doing now is to attach my zipper. So I'm just trying to pin up my zipper so the zipper goes all the way to the band so I'm done with attaching my zipper as you can see now I'm placing the both front and the back legs together right sides facing right sides once I'm done with that the first thing now is to close up that crotch on half of an inch I'll close that side and the other side as well then once I'm done with that closing I will now close up the sides on half of an inch so I'm done now is to hem the jumpsuit you fold it in by half inch and you fold it again by half inch so this is the front so to determine the length of the strap now so you just measure from that point you started your dungree flap from so from that point you measure up there to the shoulder so for the front now when i measured that i got 7.5 inches so this is not the pattern i use for the jumpsuit i'm just using this for an illustration so on your pattern you measure from there to the shoulder so I got seven and a half. So for the back, you also measure from the shoulder to the waistline. Whatever that gives you, you add the front and the back together. So for this client, her own is 23 inches. I added one and a half inches for seam allowance. So I've already added an interfacing and I folded it in by half of an inch. So now you just fold it out to the wrong side and close it on half of an inch then you now close up the side on quarter inch so to attach it from the zipper you mark 1.5 inches away from the zipper then you open up your seam and insert the strap so there you're going to be putting up a button or a cover button 
then on the flap you're going to be creating a button o now i'm done with attaching the button i use the cover button and i also open up the button o i've hemmed the clothes i've hemmed the jumpsuit rather so thank you once again guys for watching see you again on my next video for now bye